Welcome back to Graveyard Keeper. Um, this is the last episode of our look at the Alpha. Uh, hopefully we will actually sort out the church upgrade. But I've been researching this and apparently it's um, very prone to bugs and things like that. Uh, and to actually get the fish fillets, it's a bit of a dick ache. I mean the whole great, no, the, 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 the lighthouse keeper thing, the only real way to get him up to tier 2 seems to be to keep on buying his rod, fishing rod from him, and then selling it back to him over and over and over again. Because you can't seem to actually buy stuff from him, but to, to level him up to level, to tier 2, you have to spend a gold with him. Um, and apparently, according in, in the current situation, that might not really be any, possible any other way. So at the moment, I'm just basically um, gathering some resources to sell. I've already got stacks of cash now, um, after, being, after fanning around. And I just need to get up to one gold. I'm almost there. Uh, I think um, I completely forgot about coal. I think coal is apparently a good thing to sell. So I'm giving, giving this a good old tonking. The copper I'll probably... Yeah, I'll take that back and all. Might as well. Right, that should be a good amount. Uh, once you've um, got the, the, uh, the tier 2 fishing rod, I think you should be able to go and fish for... I think it's Timpani or Tim Tibbly Dibbly doodah fish at the waterfall here seems to be where people suggest you go to get the fish i've also been um, experimenting with other fishing um uh it's if I, went to the, if I go to the village pond and have a fish um i keep on um, getting those gudgeons but if i use that as bait and um, then i can get perch and it seems to be i mean i've been looking this up on the wiki i'm like a lazy old prick uh and yep uh, it does seem that perch are the best thing to get if you want to sell if you, if you actually want to get fish and sell them. However, selling them to the um, the the lighthouse keeper, well, it doesn't actually help. You actually have to spend money with him. It's a whole thing. I'm sure they'll change it. It's, it seems like there's a, a lot that's missing at the moment. But let's try and actually, what do we need to do for the copper? Is it here? I can never remember this. Oh, there it is. Yep. The blacksmith probably don't, don't have much cash anyway. There we go. So I'm not quite sure how much I'll make. Well, I'll definitely make enough out of this. Um, actually, what's in here? This is something I keep on doing to pass the time and energy away. Make more stuff. However, it's getting to the stage where a lot of the bodies buried in my graveyard are piss ones. I'm speaking of which. Um, oh, that's literally... Mm. Um, uh, uh, ones that I just like are buried early on, where they don't have well, they have a very low maximum white skull level, which means the the quality of the grave can never be never be any higher. In theory, you could exhume them. I think you could actually um, I think you can get, make the graveyard bigger, uh, but I think that's to do with the Inquisitor, and I'm not hundred percent sure that's possible. But it might be, but I think you'd have to do his long long ass quest about printing flyers, which we're not going to do. I mean, toss that. I got a little bit of energy. Might as well just do that. There. The world's smallest bit of work. Uh, okay, we've got lots of that. We've got the fishing rod, which is gonna, we're going to need. Have I got maybe I one fishing rod? God, it's so dark. I haven't, actually, I haven't got up this early for ages. Uh, what's about it? Let's compost heap. So easier. So much easier now I'm doing the whole trunk method. Right, so what day is it today? Oh, it's actually Inquisitor Day. And the Quizzer's probably on his way now. Probably. He may already be there. Oh, there he is. Oh, there's, there's, the, there's the axe dude. I may come and see them on the way back. Maybe. Oh, there, there he is. Not now, he says. Oh, he actually does say not now. <laughs> yeah. So where are we going? Are we going to the blacky old Smith Smith? That's his name. Officially. That potter doesn't do anything. I don't think he's active in the alpha. So there hasn't been an update in ages now, so I suspect they've gone quiet for a bit. Well, by, by the time this goes out, inevitably there'll probably be an update or something, but... Ah, never mind. So let's get rid of all this. All of it. How much cash? You got? He's got 19 quid. Oh, that should be plenty. Uh, yes, look. I've got gold. I've finally got gold! Right. So let's go and do this ridiculous sounding thing. <laughs> there. Where we actually have to just keep on doing this, the Rod thing. The Rod, Jane and Freddy. Yeah, those apples have respawned. Right. So you can't buy anything from him other than the Rod. 
But to actually get to tier two, you have to keep on, you have to spend a gold with him, which is ridiculous, is um, nobody says. So I've, I've got two rods, now I'm going to sell them back to him. And then I'm going to keep on buying them back from him at a loss. It's, I mean, this seems silly. But apparently it's the only way to get that up there, because whenever you buy stuff... Am I even doing this correct? I think I am. Because I'm spending six silver with him. And then when I sell it back to him, I'm only getting 450 back. So slowly but surely, you get that bar up. Every time you sell back to him, it goes down again. And when you buy stuff from him, it goes back up again. But so long as you, overall you, you eventually spend a, a gold, this should work. Um, obviously, I'm not going to do this all on camera. I'm going to... Um, <laughs> I'm going to do a crafty edit. Any second... Mm, yeah. Get in there. Almost there. Almost spent all my money. Just by passing the rods back and forwards. Let's hope we can do this. Before things go... Oh, come on. God, look how much money he's got now. Right, I think... That might be it. I think he's now at tier two. Um, I think I have to come back at... Not now. I may have to... Hang on, let's buy this back. I may have to come back um, either tomorrow or... Come back... I don't know. I'm not quite sure how this exactly works. But you can't... I mean, it's, it doesn't immediately give uh, un have everything unlocked. So it might, it might have to be a different day. I don't know, I really know. Previously, when I've unlocked something with someone, it just seems to have happened without me even realising it. Get all this. And all that. I mean, this... Obviously, this is um, this is madness, and not a sensible bit of game design. It's just clearly just like a, a placeholder or something they've overlooked, and will get changed. Either in the alpha or in the full release or whatever. Depends how important it is deemed to be. So why is it? It's still the Inquisitor Day, because... Um, after all that, I mean, it's still, it's still the middle of the bloody day. I mean, people are just still wandering around the place. Have I actually got anything to sell? No, I've just got apples. I can bake those buggers. Run! I don't really need to go and see the Inquisitor, really. Uh, I think his his requirements are ten flyers and twenty bits of firewood. But to get the um, to get the flyers, we need. Oh, hello. Where is it? Is it there? We would need s probably just a simple printing press, actually. But we'd need another 30 blues and 250 reds. So, I don't know. It's, it just doesn't really seem worthwhile. It'd be another just a quest line that just comes to a, a, a crashing halt, I think. Although it would be nice to see if, 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 you, if you can actually expand the graveyard. But, as I say, I don't know if that's actually possible. But the main thing is I want to upgrade the church to see if that's possible. And then, as far as I'm concerned, that'll be pretty much it. I'm just gonna... I'm not even gonna bother with the rest because I've got no energy. Get rid of you, get rid of you, get rid of you, get rid of you. Leave the apples. And we... Doing that. I haven't even got anything to... any seeds to plant at the moment. It's all a bit... Woeful on that front. I haven't been buying seeds at all. I know what we'll do. Next day. Oh, we have 62! Oh dear. This isn't going to be the best body in the world, is it? God, I've already got a green in. Oh well. We extract the blood. We'll be able to turn it to one white skull. Oh, hang on, have I done that right? Hmm. I think I've just removed one. Oh no, that's okay. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm whiteifying it. I don't want to take the skin off because I think that's bad. I know really I've never bothered taking. Well, I've hardly ever taken. Oh, let's 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 take some flesh out. What does that do? Oh, it literally just removes one of the white brains. Oh, bugger. Well, I'm gonna take a heart out. If this bugger's up, then oh well. Well, I've got rid of the one. Oh, got rid of one of the red skulls. I've got one white thing left, and that's it. Huh. Yeah, but as I understand it, like taking the hearts and brains out is a bit of a lottery. Sometimes you get good stuff out of it. Sometimes you don't. Hmm. Yeah. Sod it. 
Sob the loss of you. Ha! Do, do, do. So I've actually got stuff, but it's got to the stage where a lot of the, the bodies are just... No, I can't actually do anything with them. Like uh, this one here. If I put a I put a fence around here, my quality is two, but the white skulls, because they're at three, if I put a fence around it, instead of adding two to it quality, it'll only go up to a maximum of three, so that'll only add one, so it's a bit of a waste. What is this? What is this? That's a broken-ass thing. I'm wondering. I mean, that's got okay, let's, let's remove this. We can do better. Now we can put in the better fence. And that gets that up to two. Any of these possible. I mean, that one's only got one skull in it. I can't even do anything with that one. Or that one. Uh, hmm. Gravestones. What gravestones? Is anything a bit piss? Is that a bit piss? No, that's, that's good quality. Uh, the, the stone ones add two, and these only add one. What about you? Well, that adds two. That's a nice wooden cross. Certainly don't want to remove that. Well, in that case, I'm just going to leave it. Well, it's astrology day today. Get rid of that. Could turn the, the meat into a parcel of meat these days. Should be nice. Get rid of that. Oh, I can't even get rid of that now. God damn it. All oh, these bloody bowls. I'm going to get rid of the bowls. The bowls can sod off. They've got absolutely no use whatsoever. Uh, maggots can be used for fishing bait, but... Apparently, I don't really, I'm not sure if we necessarily need that. Anyway. That was a bit of a waste. <laughs> Actually, what I should do is I'll go... I'll try to see if I can get back... I think I've given them definitely a good chance now. Um, let's see, see if we can actually go back to the fishy guy, but we won't do that until the morning. Where's the... Um, I'm sure I got some copper out of the... I, I chopped up the copper thing, didn't I? It wouldn't be in there. Where did that copper go, then? Because I, Didn't I chop it up? Yeah, I chopped it up into copper ore, and now it's gone. Where do I put it, then? Maybe I put it into the graveyard. Into, into the church? Yeah, whatever. Who cares? <laughs> uh, white fish fillet. Sadly, not red. Anyway. Bed, and then... It's always going to be sermon day tomorrow. Maybe I should actually try and do some research and try and get up to... The flight... Oh, I can't be bothered. I will... I'll have a bit of a... Quick little sermon. Sermon! I get a lot of faith these days out of this sermon. Oh, and also I've got some bonus faith from the confession box. And all the usual stuff we moves. Big congregation now! Neat, nice, good, blessing. Cool, more faith, and some cash. But they only give about 22 pence now. Oh, that's more! Ooh, I tell a lie. They're be being more generous this time. Actually, that was probably because of um beefed up the graveyard. Right, actually, let's just go this way. I've got to get the money, haven't I? Only six quid. That doesn't seem to be very much. 61. Okay, let's go. We'll probably meet the bishop on the way. The bishop! Bye. Right, come on, grave... Um, in <laughs> not the innkeeper, not the graveyard keeper, the lighthouse keeper. That's the bugger. Hello! Yes! Oh, steel lure, blimey. Five silver for a fishing rod. Not bad. I'm going to sell you your simple one back. I might as well buy a little lure. A lurey poos. See what I can do with that. Thank you, my man. Good. Now we can um, do fishing the, the old-fashioned way. <laughs> I don't know what that means. 
So at the moment, um, something I don't think we've, we've uh, shown on camera at all is if you go to the top of the level, there's stuff that's basically locked in the alpha, just like tradesmen. In the top right, there's a war camp, which is completely locked. And uh oh, equip. There we go. Right. So have I actually got any bait at the moment? Yes, I have. But look, at the moment, and without any bait, um, if I, let me do this. Let's go here. Um, you can actually catch the gudgeons, and then you can actually use them as bait. Watch, watch, watch. Oh, I haven't got any bloody energy. Oh, fart. But you might be able to brief, have briefly seen there, as, um, depending on what bait you use, it um, offers different percentages and stuff like that. But if you and also if you choose different bait and all that, you know, so it's all it's all more complex than I first realised. But for now, yeah, I do actually need some sleep. I really needed to start cooking stuff. I've just completely forgotten about cooking. Um, at least I remembered about farming to some extent recently, but not cooking. Could be making more money that way. Right. So I think, um, well, instead of, I won't bother going back to the village in the morning, I'll go, um, I'll have a sleep and then we'll go to the uh, the waterfall to try and catch this mysterious sexy fish. I'm also going to get through here and collect those, finally. I've been lying around for episodes. Also, poo. Those are all ready to harvest, but I can't be bothered. I'm the lazy sort. I've got no energy as well. Okay, big day today. Although, you know, we're not actually going to get to the bishop thing for a long time yet because we need 10 fish fillets, which means we need to catch 10 of these tilapa or til timpani or whatever the bloody hell I'm catching. Hopefully I won't catch an old boot or a little Chinese clock thing or an old shoe, a little red converse thing. Or some candles in a bottle. Or other things that you get in raft. Right. Let's have a go. So I've got my good fishing rod. At the moment, percentages, we know that we can catch gudgeon and frog. Uh, let's try a far cast. Just with normal. I'm intrigued. See if we actually need any bait. I just want to see the percentages. If you actually get a gudgeon, I want to see what the percent how the percentages change. Go! Right, here we go. Oh blimey, it's a lively in. Oh shag! It's a This is a this is a live Oh bloody hell. Ah This is a this is a very lively one. Come on! Sod! Oh dear, that was a mistake. Come on! There we go. Oh it's a tilapia! <laughs> ah. That wasn't actually what I intended. Okay. So we've actually um, revealed the percentages for the tilapias as anywhere, but if you by the looks of it, if you catch, if you send it far, you you always get one. Steel lure. Oh, we didn't actually get a gudgeon, did we, in the end, because of that. So let's have a see, see what happens when you've, got, when you've got a steel lure, then. See what the difference is in percentages. I'm just starting to re work out how this all works now. Always leaf. Oh, there we go. And that's much easier. Oh, a pike! Oh, lads, it's a pike. So... Hmm. That means there's other stuff in the middle distance as well. Apparently the tilapias, um, also, you can, they're very good in, to be caught in the sea. I think you definitely need bait for that, though. I think we've, we discovered this when we first started trying to fish. I'm just going to catch the gudgeon, sod it. <laughs> Actually, no, I'm not. I'm just going to go with that. I think when we first started, we, we tried fishing in the sea, and it gave absolutely no fish whatsoever because we didn't have any bait. I think that the sea does definitely require bait. I should have tried this steel lure. There we go. Oh, here we go. Nice. A sturgeon. Nicola sturgeon. Huh. And there's other possible fish as well. Right. Okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna concentrate now on getting the tilapia. So let's try and please the bishop. This, this might actually go quicker than I realise, because if it's a 100% chance, then it's all going to be reasonably straightforward. It just means I've got to do this mini-game a lot. I think the tilapias are a bit more lively. Or maybe it's just my imagination, I don't know. But, anywho, 
Just going to keep on doing this for ages. So it's now night time, uh, just about. Um, there's a pattern. Whenever you catch it, it always goes in the exact same pattern. So I've actually found it very easy to do this very quickly. I've also managed to find one silver tilapia as well, which doesn't stack, which is irritating. But hopefully, if I get this, if this is another basic bronze one, this should take us to ten. And then we can start filleting. Oh, there we go. Oh, flip. Missed. It's my first miss. Weirdly enough, I've been very good. There we go. I think apparently the percentages change at night. So there's like a day-night split for catching fish. Oh, I've caught another bloody silver one. I've got two silver and nine bronze. God damn it. I'm losing it now. I'm losing my touch. We're getting crap fish. Come on. Come on, let's make Gary Rhodes proud. So it always flaps up to the top and then stays there for ages. Ten. Good. Bloody hell, I've been fishing all night. I've got... I didn't actually use a vast amount of energy. I probably used half a bar over the course of that entire fishing... F um, if I say fisting. Fish <laughs> fishing expedition. So I think we're all good. Unfortunately now I'm, I'm completely off my day-night cycle. Which is most ir irritating. But let's... Stop. Move the cursor. We'll be able to do this in time for the next bishop time. Oh, hello. Uh, hmm. You better go in there. Uh, I don't have the energy. Can I eat something? Or, hmm. I've got a fish. <laughs> well, let's see. Let's see how we can fill it. Red fish. There we go. Requires... Oh, shh. What have I done? Why is it all weird? No influencing perks and buffs available. Oh, look. Here we go. Look, it can change between the bronze and the silver fish. Not quite sure what this, what the difference is. Let's have a go. We get two greens out of that. And I got one red fish fillet of the silver kind. So I don't know if the, um, the bishop might only want bronze ones. Which would be a bit of a... A dick. Why is it today? It's Merchant Day. We do, I think we dealt with the, the hiccup grass, didn't we? God. With all these eggs and things that we never did. Oh, well, that's all cooking, isn't it? I think I'm just going to have to have a, a daytime now. This is going to be irritating. But it doesn't really matter, because I'm... All I need to do now is do a lot of filleting. And then kill some time before the bishop turns up again. It's going to be quite a... Quite a bit of a thing. I could always do more bees. Bees! No, let's not do more bees. Right, so let's just work, work, work. Work that fish. In real life, of course, it is very hard to fillet a fish. Well, <laughs> it's not really, but it's a bit of a pain. I've tried it. I just end up with a pile of fish bits just flapping about all over the place. Maybe you should have waited until after after they died. <laughs> Just a pile of fillets on the floor. This is some total hygiene. You don't want to come to my restaurant, I'll tell you that much. So don't seem to really get much difference out of these two things. What's, what's the stars mean? Or is that plus two what? I mean, what the f bollocks are you talking about? You bollocksing bollocks. Who knows? Nearly done. I think. I think um, I've got I've got these silk. Oh hello. Hold that thought. <laughs> Whatever the thought was. Like, what's he doing? Pick resources. Oh, I can. Oh, okay. Right. There we go. And we've done it. We have ten red fish fillets plus bonus fillets. Now. Do the old bunging. I think I'm going to go to the research table. Because why not? Let's see if I can actually get some more blue stuff. Because um, that's holding me back with a lot of the tech unlocks. Could put some peat in there. Oh, I've only got one science. Oh, that gives me green nonsense. And where's all that paper I've got? I've got it in here. 
pig skin. Oh, got pig skin. That's fine. Clean. Oh, this this requires energy. Ugh, that's energetic. Pig skin gives you a lot of paper. You go very far with alchemy, did I? I've got some red stuff there. That's good. Got up to a hundred. Right, let's. Sturge? Oh, I forgot I got these other things. Oh, yeah, I need to do the science first, don't I? Now, I suspect these sturgeon won't, will give, just give us more organics. Ooh, wow, that's a lot of organics. That's the one thing you did. We've got way too much of that. Oh, that gives you that gives you red. Oh, the flesh gives you blue. I've never actually studied flesh before. Huh. Would have thought I'd have done that. Oh, ten. Not ideal. Oh, we can study all this and all. That gives you green. That gives me green. Oh, chaos solution gives me blue. Also, life solution. Oh, this should give us some good stuff. Hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> it was piss. Never mind. Chaos solution also. There we go. Also pathetic. Irritatingly. Oh, hello. I've lost... Give me, back, give, me, give me a thing. <laughs> give me a thing back. How can I full up? God oh, damn it. I should just put that there. Um. Destroy them. You can all go back into the thing. So I've still got three more days to um, kill before and we can finish in our bishops, finish up our bishop's quest. Although I'm not quite sure. Maybe there'll be other stuff. Wouldn't be surprised if there was. I'll either peat there, I think. I should actually be planting that, shouldn't I? Let's keep that. Stories can go in there. See, I'm, I'm quite keen not to just like them. Um, there's a few things like making books and whatever, which um, I'm just not going to bother pursuing in this. There's embalming as well, but apparently that does nothing. There's literally no point in doing that at all. So I think I don't really want to do much more stuff in this alpha where there's um. Which is just isn't going to lead to anything seeing anything new, other than whatever, like a just the the satisfaction of having finished something. But I think this feels like a good time to stop. If, what if we actually had to get up the bloody thing? Finish the damn thing. Now what do I do? I've still got two more days to kill. Um, fine. Oh shit! <laughs> like an idiot. I've only just found out. I must have I must have said this before and not realised it, but I haven't actually got the um, unlocks the writing thing, and I thought I had ages ago. It turns out no, I don't. Have unlocked it. That's English, <laughs> I think. Right, desk. I need eight flitch and eight nails. Then I should be able to make prayers. Not that way. So that's how you bloody do it. I think I, I think I half knew that and never really sort of like put two th two and two together. So let's get the flitch. This will be good to actually just like um, finish off because I really want to. It'd be good to actually see the prayers in action. So we've only got, got one flitch, so we need some more flitch. We've got any more wood, so we'll need some more wood. But we've got to do this before our time elapses. Is that chopperoo? There's a chopperoo. Come on, give us two. I think I only got. Oh, we got two. Got two. Do this the um the weird way. <laughs> also need eight nails. And go in there. Flitch. I can. Can I flitch? Flitch here as well. I can. I think I can't remember if this is quicker or more energetic or what. Right. Oh shag. I've got any nails. I've got. Th I've only got three nails. I've, oh, I've got all this gold. <laughs> that sh this shouldn't be here. I really could do with some more nails. So make. To Where the hell do you make nails? This is one place you can do it. And then we've got enough nails as well for the desk. Right. Okay. So we've got get a bit of sleep into us. So the desk. Yeah, we'll be able to make some pr new prayers then. And then, yeah, we'll, for the finale, we could hopefully upgrade the church, unless there's like five other things we have to do. 
Uh, and also test out a new prayer, which would be fun. It's Astrologer Day, so that means nothing really. In the great scheme of things, because the Astrologer can piss off with his acid requirements. And I don't know if you can get acid in this or not. It might actually be an alchemy thing, but I don't know. Don't care too much. Can I put it up there? No, I can't. It has to be there, I think. Desk. And here we go. The prayers. I've already unlocked loads of these things. Ah, this is why you require books and chapters and things. And for this you need notes. And for the notes you need... Stories, pen and ink, and clean paper. Or we could also make flyers. Ah! We might be able to do the Inquisitor's thing. Eh, maybe. But that'll require pen and ink and clean paper. Well, cl pen and ink is a bit of a piss. Uh, I think you to get pen and ink. You need pen and ink. Funny enough. Uh, I think you can buy this stuff. Uh, okay, that's how you do that. I'm just going to actually make a note of this. I'm just going to see if we can work it out. Actually, I've got plenty of faith here. So if I did want something, like donations... So a chapter... It's just, is it, does that mean just three notes? Then I guess it does. Hmm. So there's a case of getting, I think, you would be able to do it with three... It's confusing. With three pen and inks. And to get the three pen and inks, you just need, yes, only one ink and three pens. We can buy the pens and things, and the think inks from the astrologer. I wonder if that's worth doing then. I haven't actually got any money, have I? I just don't have enough money. Nah, well, I'm not too bothered about that. It's good to know that it's possible without having to unlock all the printing press stuff. So you can get 10 flyers and 20 firewood and give it to the Inquisitor. If you really can be bothered. Anyway, I've got nothing to do today. Nah, I won't be able to make that prayer after all, but eh, whatever. So, the morning of the big day, hopefully. But first, I think we have one last bit of gravekeeping to be done. Right. Oh god, this is not a good body. Eh, uh, never mind. It'll do. It'll do at a pinch. Get rid of yo. Take the body. I've got this at the ripe 94% mark. So as, as I mentioned before, anything below 90% starts to get too many red skulls. Or green, green skulls, which are... Oh, hang on! <laughs> red, green skulls are basically the, the... Very similar to red skulls in the great scheme of things. Right, I've only got one, one hole. I, I, I got this hole ages ago. Never did out with it. Right. Inter! Do I have... Oh, burial certificate? Oh, don't assume it! Well, actually, you yeah. know, I do actually have exhumation somewhere. There we go. Work, 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 work. And another red one. Takes us to 100. Got 20 of those things now. Yeah. Whilst we wait for the bishop to flap up. Sure, I didn't get a good prayer, but never mind. What is the other prayer? The prayer for faith, prayer for money. There's also various other... Oh, wait, that guy has gone to the top left. Ooh, not quite sure what he's doing over there. Well, he's he's given me one of his glowing yellow balls, so I'm happy enough. So will I get any more than six? I, don't really, I haven't really changed the graveyard much recently, have I? So it looks like six it is. But let's see how much quidditch I get. I think that might be actually be the... Um, 35? That's about the same as last time, I think. Has the bishop turned up yet? Oh, six, more than six quid. I think that's more. Hello. Yeah, have some fish. By the way, I forgot to mention that you'll need a bow, dicks. Building permit. As far as the permit is concerned, I'm afraid you're on your own. I try to avoid their soulless, greedy bureaucracy at any costs. Uh, what's that then? That might be, that might be what Stimes is. That might not actually be in the alpha. Unless... Hang on. Unless maybe. 
The only possibility is that if I spend 20 quid, maybe I'll be able to unlock the, the, the relevant service. What does he want? He just wants permission or something. So, I need to make a load more money. Oh, this might take a fucking bloody hell. Alright, let's try this. I've got 20 quid. That should be enough. No! Oh. <laughs> ah. It might not actually be possible then. Oh, god damn it. Well. Prick. So I don't think we can continue then on that. I think that's it. That's them. Damn it. We can't upgrade the bloody church. Uh, and that's that. Oh, piss off, donkey, you prick. You're no good to us now. Hmm. That's a shame. That robs us of a good finish. But hey ho. Let's go to bed. Well, it feels like we've reached the end of the road now. Uh, there's nothing uh, I really want to do. And that's it, really. Um, thanks for watching this entire series, if you did. Um, I'm sorry if you wanted to see the upgraded church. I don't think that's possible at the moment. May try and do it, maybe. Maybe revisit this if anything ma you know, particularly major happens with the Alpha. But I don't think it's going to do now. Um, I'm guessing they're just going to head towards the full release now, which should be... What is it now? It's mid-June, so a couple of months, and the full game will be out, and all will be marvel really rather marvellous, and all that. So, cool. Okay, so thanks for watching. Uh, do check out my other series, including the new series of Starbound, uh, The Seven Wonders of Starbound, which I've just started doing now. There'll be a couple of episodes out by the time this goes out. And all my usual stuff as well. Check out my Patreon if you want to say uh, thanks for the series, or just show your support, or just want to unlock some bonus videos, uh, which is all very lovely. Um, and don't forget, my Discord is also in the, in the description, um, so if you want to go and chat about indie games and all that, go and do that. And bye for now.